If I thought this project was unsafe for the BC coast, I would reject it. Even the Conservatives say Justin Trudeau lied to BC. You know, the, the Dogwood Initiative, he actually promised that he wouldn't let Kinder Morgan go forward. Now he's saying, oh, but I've changed my mind. He made that promise before the Dogwood Initiative, an important group in British Columbia, and a lot of British Columbians voted for Justin Trudeau's liberals based on that solemn promise. He promised climate leadership and First Nations consent and a redo of Harper's review of the Kinder Morgan project. So they approved Kinder Morgan in January, you're saying they're not going to do it in January because we're going to change it. Oh, essential. Yeah, you know. Rana Ambrose says Trudeau's flip-flop will fuel backlash in BC. I see a very little prospect, politically uh, speaking, that this pipeline will get built. So. I wish I could be more optimistic, but uh, I'm not. We're going to prove her right. Sophie Harrison, how are you doing today, Sophie? Doing all right. Following the approval, Dogwood hit the streets and the airwaves. Our next big focus is going to be moving towards the provincial government and calling on our Premier Christy Clark to stand up for BC. The message was clear. No matter who wins down. the provincial election next spring, Dogwood will hold them accountable for their promises. And if the next premier betrays us like Trudeau did, the consequences will reshape democracy in BC forever.